guys. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the loop band, upper body, and core workout. So the purpose of this workout is to have minimal equipment. Um, when we're in the holidays, we're not bringing, you know, dumbbells and whatever. We have very little space in the luggage. And so all you need are these little loop bands and they fit in a little thing like this and can be tucked anywhere. And you'll find that these are the most valuable and least expensive equipment that you'll find, you'll have in your arsenal of getting fit, uh, besides a jump rope, okay? So these workouts are meant for that you do um, in the middle of preparing dishes or while wrapping gifts or anywhere you are. Um, if you're at a rest stop, if you're in a hotel, if you're in somebody else's living room, you can do this. And I've done, I've created a circuit so you can do it once um, for a real quick, you know, workout, or you can do it twice or three times or for whatever um, time you have, okay? So I'm gonna go through it once, show you all the moves, and then you take it from there. Um, make sure you have your water. This is an upper body workout, so we're gonna work our shoulders, our chest, our back, and then our abs. And then also make sure you have your heart rate monitor because the heart rate monitor will give you a better idea of how much you can and can't eat, especially if you're cutting. And if you want more information on that, contact me, squishablebaby.com. That's where I'll be. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to teach you to do a curl up, roll, curl down, lateral raise. Now it's important that you pick a band that first you can keep tension in, that's not too tight, but second, that really challenges you. Okay, this is important for all these workouts. For this workout, um, this band challenges me. I feel it when I keep it tight right in the sides of my shoulders and that's what I want. Okay, and we're gonna do 15 reps of these and I'll show you. You're gonna curl up and then squeeze back. You wanna squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back. Curl up, down, and lateral raise. That's a whole one. Two. Three. Um, the point is with this to keep it very tight, keep the resistance. Four. Five. And you want to do 15 of these. Keep your abs in. Six. My shoulders are getting tired. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Now my side and my shoulders are really burning and I'm using the medium heavy band. So maybe next time I'll go down, maybe not, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is use the blue band, which is the medium for mountain climbers. And is what you do is you put the band around your feet and make sure to keep your feet flexed to keep the band on, okay? 
you're going to go into a plank and you're going to do 15 of these. So let me show you. Go into a plank. Make sure to keep your butt down. If you put your butt up, it takes it out of the abs and it does nothing. So if you're not feeling burning in your abs, make sure to put your butt down. And when you get tired, your butt will creep up, but just do the best you can. So you can go into a full plank with this one and you just bring one foot in, don't touch it to the ground, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, well, you should feel it in your abs. 13, 13, 15. And now you'll feel it in your shoulders too. And that's good. Okay? If that was too easy, use a heavier band. You can also not use a band at all. It's up to you. All right. I'm going to use the same band and I am going to place this arm down at my waist and I'm going to do a single arm curl and I'm going to do 15 on each side. Okay, ready? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. And you should feel it in that bicep, okay? Then you do the other side. It's important, even when you go down, this is a trick to these ones, that the band stays tight. So it's important that you keep it down by that hip. Ready? See how the band's still tight? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This arm is weaker. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. All right, the next is another plank. And I'm gonna use my lightest one for this one to show you. Um, and I'll show you what we're going to do. And again, you have to put your butt down to really feel this. So, you put the band around your wrist. Come down into a full plank. Let's see if you can see this. Move back. Okay. Come into a full plank on your toes, and we're gonna go out with the right, out with the left, out this way, laterally. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. And you should feel that. Okay? You can also, if you don't want to come down on your knees, I mean, you don't want to be in a full plank, let me show you. You can do a knee down plank where you keep your toes down, knees down, but you have to push your butt forward. And you can do it like that. Okay, but the trick is you have to, you can't do it up here because that does nothing for the abs and that puts no weight on your arms to work your shoulders. You have to push it back. Okay, you have to feel the burn. It's important. The burn tells you that it's working. Make sure to engage the abs, okay? All right, the next thing is a lateral raise. So I'm going to use my light band for this one. I'm going to put it around my wrist. And basically, I'm going to do 15 on each side. One. One. Two. This works the outside of the shoulder. Two. Make sure the wrist, three, and the elbow are in line. Three. Four. Four. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. I'm feeling it and I'm using the lightest band. When you come down, make sure that band remains taut. Don't let it relax. 12, 12, 13, 13. <laughs> the last two or three should be hard. That tells you that you're using the right band. Hold on. Grace, I'm, I'm recording. Okay. All right. Yep. Now we're going to do a back row. And for the back row, I'm using my yellow band, which is medium heavy. So what you want to do with this one is put it around your wrist, bend over, make it tight, and just squeeze back. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure to squeeze those abs in and flatten your back. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 50. Okay. That I felt. So make sure you have a heavy enough band so that you can make it taut and really feel it. You want to squeeze back so those shoulder blades come together in the back. Bend your knees. Keep your back flat so your butt will stick out. And make sure to hold in your abs. Okay? Tricep press. I am using my heavier band on this. This is the red one. Okay. How you do this is we're going to work on the tricep on the right first. Put your band up here at your shoulder. Hold the grip like this. And we are going to glue our shoulder to our side. Holding the abs. 
One. Keep the band tucked. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. You should feel burning. Eight. Not, you can hold higher. Nine. Or get a heavier band. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. And then we do the other side. So we're working right in the back of your arms. Now, if this isn't enough resistance, like you're using your heaviest band, I'm not here. Um, I have one more heavier band. You can always double up on bands. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You should feel burning. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Okay. Burn. All right. The next thing we're going to do is lateral crawl. All right. This one is a little bit complicated. Just a little bit. It requires coordination. I'm using my lightest band. This one really works the abs. Okay. You get down on all fours. All right. Let me see if I can do this so you can see. Go over here. All right. Get down on all fours. Is what you want to do is lift up on your toes so your knees come off the ground. Now you can keep your legs on the ground, but to get full effect on the abs, you want to lift your knees up on the ground, come up on your toes. I'll turn around to show you. You see how my knees are up? Okay, now, you start with your arm spread, okay? When your left leg goes out, your right arm comes in, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's see if I have enough space here. So, I lift it up, my left leg goes out, my right arm comes in. My right arm goes up, my left leg comes in. a shoulder and the ab burner. All right. That's, I think, the toughest move in this whole set. But that's good. The last move is 15. I'm using my lightest band on this one. Put it on your this. Put your legs, arms straight, and we're just going to press out and in. For 15. Ready? Make sure your arms are high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, tw
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You don't want to completely relax your arms. And these ones are hard. Okay. Never in any of these do you want to completely relax and allow the band to like relax there. You always want to keep it tight, even if it's a little bit. So those are moves for you to work on. They work the abs and the upper body. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, you can do this once. It's a great resistance training. Um, it's even better than weights in my opinion. Or you can do this twice. Or if you really come home and want to do it again, um, but I'm done with once. So I hope you enjoyed this workout. I hope it helps you to feel better and stay in shape and move forward to your goals in the um, during the holiday season because I know it's really really hard. For maximum effect, do this right when you wake up, why before you eat anything. You can drink water which I have here. But before you do anything, do this and then wait a few hours until you eat again. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was easy enough and stay safe.